What? It's over already? God damn it. I was too... Oh, hold on. I'm in the way of Dylan Mulvaney. No, let's go this way. There we go. Everybody needs to see Dylan. That's how you get the show started. This is trans joy. I hope that you're experiencing it with me. Ah, I've never been that happy ever in my life. I probably haven't been that happy even though I was a fucking kid. Ah, crap. I think I cursed in the first seven seconds. Anyway, you know, I was a very interesting little tyke. I was probably the only <laughs> the only uh, kid in the fourth grade trying to attempt. Oh, and I can't say that either. Crap. God damn it. YouTube is lame. I, I guess I could say I was attempting to bubble myself and I got in trouble for it. They even brought the police to stop me. You know, they won't let you starve yourself as a kid either. There's just so many restrictions on childhood. Well, welcome, everyone, to the show that should have happened. Um, uh, let me check my calendar here. Where is the calendar? Give me a second here, people. Uh, the show should have happened days ago. I have uh, a, a reasonable excuse, and that is get the calendar out of here. That I had narcolepsy and insomnia at the same time. What's today's show? What are we looking at? There's so many things going on. I heard two mad drop dead from a drug overdose while playing Overwatch. Talk about a shitty way to die. I can't stand playing Overwatch sober, which makes actual perfect sense. Oh, my God. Uh, what else is up? What's the news of the day? Get out of here, Fluffy. Get out of here. Bad dog. I'm trying to talk about two mad. I know nothing about him. I saw he left some uh, crazy messages to Kiwi. Do you have those? Can we read those? Can we see them? Where the hell's that producer? Jesus Christ. Everything's so goddamn scruffed. I'm going after him right now. What are you doing back there? Can you not hear me? I hear you now. I had to okay. hunt you down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we've got uh, Cobra. Just bro um, His dry spells ended after six oh, years. Okay. And the crazy so we, lady. Can we? Oh, wait. Somebody gifted 10 subs. Let me look at this. Oh, wait, stuff is going on. Golem has sent 25,000 PYGs. What the hell is that? Pretty Young Things? That's a Michael Jackson song. Bro, thanks for... Get out of here, Fluffy. Playing Crazy Horse. Oh, Listen oh, to... Oh. No, Fluffy, no! All right, you take over the chats. Bad dog! Um, cancel. We've got uh, David McFarlane gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, David. He actually, he talked to me in chat earlier. He said these are not Argentinian memberships, by the way. He actually donated another 10 memberships. Thank you so much. Um, Token Robot. McFarlane must be rich because 10 is a lot, I think. Yeah, he's got 20. 20 just for today. Ah, we got a member for nine months. Token Robot. Thank you. Hail to the bigots. Yes. Yes. Bigotry coming back in big ways. 2024, baby. When the Orange Emperor or the Spice Melange returns to power. Listen. Listen, is everybody ready for this hot take? Trump is the spice melange. He's like got yellow skin and bright blue eyes, and sometimes he predicts things that happen. What do you think? Mm, mm. Yeah! Yes! Praise me! Praise me! Okay. Uh, what do we got here? $10 from the Raging D. I think it's pretty clear now that Disney is trying to antagonize fandom. Death to by Overwatch. Rip. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, God. I'm probably going to die the same way. Like, uh, Tater told me. He was like, two man's dead. He died alone and nobody found his body for like a week. And he goes, it's so sad. He had no family or friends. And literally, I wrote back, that's probably how I'm going to die. Like, realistically, I'm just going to fucking die and my cat would totally eat me. Smokey would eat me, dude. Uh, Fluffy would probably defend me. Possibly. But then after a while, she'd get hungry, too. So then she will probably eat me. And I'm, like, totally high in protein, bro. Like, I'm full of muscle. Like, look at this. Ah, uh, my arms don't work. Damn it. All right, let me get him back in here for the, the next thing that's supposed to be going on. Let's hear the sweet music of rogues did that say rogues clapping butt cheeks <laughs> all right no you get out of here um I, what is that uh alan theory he's a member for, for another month you're the man gundam uh mephisto he just donated 
$40. Please make more music, Gundam. Your, mu your music has soul. It really says something. Well, thank you so much, Mephisto. Thank you. Um, it's depressing to talk about music because I want to, but uh, right now it's election season, so I'm going to wait until YouTube changes everything semi back to normal before putting something out so people actually might see it. Fucking A. If it does well, like if I put up a video on YouTube and it does well, it might get band members to return and then we do something that doesn't suck dick. But, you know, you never know. Probably not. You know, who, who the fuck knows? It's depressing. I hate my job. I hate doing this. I hate YouTube. It sucks. It's soulless. It is a never ending. But ugh, crap. I almost said the R word. You take over like <laughs> Ted Comet with the five dollars. Uh, the more two face she acts, the more pokey reminds me of Lady Oon from Gundam Wing. Um, also, are real grades worth it, or should I stick to masters and highs? Oh, bro, the lady unfucking analogy is on point. Whoa. Holy shit. Um, RGs, the latest versions of RGs, the new ones that are coming out now, they're pretty fucking good. I would say the Sasabi RG is pretty hot. High New Gundam, everything that's been recent. Like, avoid the old RGs, like the first generation with the stupid universal inner frame. Absolute dog shit. Uh, what was the other one? I totally forgot. There's a woman with a mustache on. Love to see it. Kangaroo uh, donated 10. Thank you so much for that. And Get Pin some. Pinup Panda just became a new member. I haven't heard Pinup Panda in ages. Uh, and Nugs Medallion also became a new member. We're getting the memberships I so richly deserve. We're doing better than DSP today. Everybody's doing better than Darkseid Phil. His life is fucked. Darkseid Phil is like, he fell off. <laughs> Like, I'm not even that interested in what Phil's doing. I've been paying too much attention to King Cobra. I'm like, well, will Phil do something interesting for God's sakes? We have, we might have a special guest a little bit later on from the Phil from the Snortex. The um, Snortex. I wonder who could have. Is, is it Cat? Is Cat calling? Or it? not? I'm keeping this under wraps. I would love it if Cat called it. Can we get Panda Lee? Wait, no, she blocked me. Panda Lee blocked me, dude. I haven't done or said shit to Panda Lee other than going. Yeah, she was too attractive for Phil. How dare you, Panda Lee? I defended you. Uh, one more, and then we're going to go ahead and go into the uh, the stories. Raging D-Head with $10. Gundam, the music, Gundam's music having so much soul makes it all the more brilliant, since he himself is soulless. That's deep. Uh, in BB-11 with the five pounds, <laughs> you hate YouTube, but I hope you don't hate the fans, Gundam. Oh, no, the fans are fantastic. I wish my family knew, like, people liked me. Maybe they'd treat me better. <laughs> my life is dog shit. Okay, we'll, we'll start with Too Mad, just because, uh, you know, RIP Too Mad. Um, James Ski, actually, we're going to start with him. He put out a tweet as soon as Too Mad was figured out to be dead by in an Overwatch uh, lobby. I guess we can't read the like tweet that uh the e girl Kiwi or Kawi did. Uh, I could find it. I have the Minx one too. I sent it to you. Like it was really wild because Two Matt was like pretty much sending like sexual assault messages uh like in the DMs on the regular, and I was just kind of like, God damn. Yeah, we might have to hold off on that one. Yeah, there's a lot of ring. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, but this is James Ski. I'll go ahead and read it for everyone. I can finally say it. Too Mad was an R and a P. Over the past few years, he tried to bubble me multiple times for helping the police and detectives in multiple states to investigate a lot of horrible things that he's done. He wanted to take out multiple innocent lives by getting behind a wheel and going head-on on a freeway while being high on illegal drugs. He didn't succeed once as he overdosed before killing anyone, so he tried it again. Despite him trying to bubble me and multiple innocent lives, I've been trying to get I've been trying to help law enforcement to make it sure he's safe, uh, doesn't get doesn't get or doesn't get hurt and doesn't harm anyone. Please remember that he is an R and a PD file. Uh, he'll continue to prey on the vulnerable even after the police got involved, including a 13-year-old in a mental hospital. The tragedy doesn't excuse any of his actions. I will address a lot of stuff when I'm full, when I fully collect my thoughts. 
past few months have been a total mess, and the reason why I ended up in the ER. Please give me some time. That's stunning and brave. To wait till the man I can't is cold wait on the floor. To put out my angry tweets when people die that I dislike. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hog wild. I'm gonna have all sorts of crazy accusations. Wait till someone I hate dies. I just gotta think. Uh oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if we could read some of these dudes. Like, on the real. The Minx ones would be fine. Yeah, Minx, one, Minx is safe, but, like, uh, we're in the, dangerous zones with Kiwi. Kiwi, maybe not. I told her in a uh, DM that I wanted to hit her in the head with a 2 by 4 and drive around her car illegally while doing heroin with... Oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, no, I keep forgetting... <laughs> Edit out that part. God damn it. I hate this. When is Kit going to sign me so I can actually say something funny? Jesus Christ. Got to make everything like a children's show. Oh, there goes my Hunter Biden joke. All right. Well, let's, let's see what Minx is up to. Isn't Minx a drunk? Um, I don't know, actually. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, 70, <laughs> allegedly. That's not Minx, that's James Key. That's Kiwi. Oh, Minx. Good I'm gonna Lord. Have look, I'm going to have to look into where you sent him to me. What? You sent it to me? Oh, no. good God. I'm going to Google if Minx is a drunk, though. It's Minx. I'm 100% sure. She was like drunk as fuck on the stream once. Yeah, revealed she is battling with alcoholism. I knew it. I knew it. I know my drunk girls. It is committed to turning her life around, acknowledging that she needs to learn when to say stop. Oh, that's sad. When a woman has to learn how to tell herself no. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Nobody gets that. Oh, yeah, boy. Just a minx. Here we go. You know, I battle with alcoholism, and you know what? It hasn't stopped me yet because I'm not a quitter. I'm high now. I technically shouldn't be on stream driving or breathing oxygen. Have you read the Vince McMahon? Wait, Vince McMahon has texts. They're wild. I need those texts from Vince McMahon just for my own enjoyment. What does Daddy Vince say? It's got to be bad because it's Vince McMahon. He has no chill. I can look it up real quick. I've got the just, I've got Minx's long... Well, let's just get Minx while you like, uh, we'll, yeah. we'll search for Vince later. Minx is Real like alcoholics huge. never quit. Exactly. My grandfather died of cancer. Do you know why? Because he couldn't quit smoking. Even when he was in the hospital with cancer and all these tubes in him, the dude kept smoking Marlboros. You have to respect the, the dedication. And, Holy fuck, it's a Bible. Well, I'm not reading this. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Why doesn't anybody say anything about him when he was alive? That's when you get him. Everybody's like, he's dead. It's safe now. <laughs> Everyone came out from under the rocks. I guess that's the thing about social media and how fake it is. If you're famous and popular enough, you could be an absolute piece of shit. And no one will do a fucking thing till you're dead. Unlike me. They're ready to hang my ass now. And I have yet to send Minx a bottle of liquor. I'm a fucking, uh, I was going to say, no, nah, not a patriot. Humanitarian. All right, this don't is, you have uh, an abridged version of Minx? Well, this is when James Key was calling her out after she called him out saying, I don't know how to, what to feel right now after calling him out and he says just got full confirmation that i can tell the public you actively interfered with investigations and assisted too mad by revealing him by revealing to him con confidential information provided by the authorities and that you also encouraged him to bubble himself hours whoa, whoa. or out. days before the tragedy you even talked about it on your streams do we have clips of that no minx was telling too mad to bubble himself I looked for that. I couldn't find it. I heard Mix with full low, low tier God. She was like, bubble yourself now. 
uh, Mink saying, the only way I could have interfered in investigations is the reports I made to the LAPD of him stalking and threatening me and mentioning other cases. Show your proof, lad. And then this is when she starts with... Uh, oh, my sweet lord. The amount um, of, like, e-girls too mad somehow got himself involved with, and these girls were like, oh, a fat, ugly, weird guy? This won't end odd. Ooh. And then, like, he just goes nuts. It goes full King Cobra and stalks them. But at least King Cobra knew kind of when to quit. Cobra Next actually piece. landed one. Well, please. <laughs> that is like, that's a subterranean mammal. That's not a human. <laughs> Let's go piece. ahead. I, I want to bring up this. this See, now creature. we have to look at the two mad stuff later in our own private time. Because now I'm interested. I'm now in the saga it's, where it's everybody, where everybody's like, fuck you. You assisted him in being a fucking sexual degenerate and you're like no i filed police reports and told him to off himself i'm the hero here okay fuck it here we go uh this is naked and laughing this is uh cobra's newest uh, woman oh uh, i hope that you like have this shit time stamp weren't you supposed yes. to create a super cut this had better not, be that your super so cut. long that I, this is not edited this is a live stream I'm this not doing motherfucker that. here is enjoying his life and he couldn't be asked to like edit up a supercut. Meanwhile, I've got time stamped. <laughs> meanwhile, I'm like editing two videos, writing a script. Thank God there's a second editor now. And he's like, uh, can't you grab a little extra whoever the fuck this lady is? I'm just saying, next time we need to like plan this and chop it up because there's so much crazy shit with this bitch. You would have to like, ah, uh, just play it. I'm very disappointed. If the secret recipe is the fat boy sweat sauce, then fucking do it. Oh, the fat boy never gets blamed for anything. Oh, even if he runs out of a job early. Oh, he probably still gets paid for the fucking <laughs> two hours that he fucking left early. Well, I get blamed for the fucking cock sucking dick shit. What is she talking Just about? Just to put a little bit of context to this. The fans, Cobra's fans, ordered her Wendy's chili, and it didn't oh, come with cheese. Oh, absolute treat. Oh, <laughs> these fucking animals. It didn't come with cheese, so she's pitching a fit, and she's about to, to go off on the, the fans for not putting cheese. So the fans sent her, they knew that not giving her cheese would trigger her. That's pretty impressive. You have to be pretty ungrateful to get some free Wendy's, and you're like, no cheese, you fucking idiots. Oh, she was using fans all her entire trip. It's like her personal door dash. Well, it is funny because she was sitting there complaining that she didn't have money to rent a car. And she's like, it's $500. It's so expensive. If you guys didn't stop my GoFundMe. And it's like, so basically you acknowledge that it's expensive, but you wanted other people to pay for your expensive car to use. That, oh, I never, oh. She also has these ticks where she looks around. Yeah, like a tweaker. My first night on Wendy's, I'm literally having a manager called with her bonnet and fucking curlers. And if I was in this shape, I would seriously change my diet. Flippers and uh -huh. No, but the fat boy gets the sink. What? It ain't over I, to the fat lady. So it's over to the fat boy dings his fucking bitch ass belly from fucking Wendy's. He's like, no. No more lemonade for me. I gotta go. I'm too fat. I'm too fat. I gotta go. I told you we need super cuts. <laughs> I don't, like. There's a whole point where she's like dancing and having a spe a spurg right, session, like a warlord video. video. That's a whole nother video. That's probably what people are interested in watching well, a junky can't spaz. Super cut some of these things. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, I'll have to. I have to find an extra hour in the day to super yeah. cut this crap. If you think it's an hour. Okay. Um, let me pull up that one real quick when she is uh, dancing. This is the one you're talking about. There's no sound. Because yeah, we have to mute the sound. It. Oh, so you got the original one. Yeah. This is when Cobra went outside to like take a smoke. The longest smoke break in human history. Like, the dude literally left his fucking viewers to this woman's insanity. Ah, look at that diaper dumper. 
Oh my God. Could you imagine being so horny that you would willingly have sex with this woman? Look at those bat wings. <laughs> she moves like a drunk Jewish man at a bar mitzvah. What the fuck is this? Boglin Chronicles is going to have a damn it. Yeah, shout out Boglin Chronicles. It's the homie. Yeah. She always has like the jerking off motion. Yeah, I've noticed that. She, the funny thing is like before this happens, she took her vitamins, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she smoked her vitamins. <laughs> it's the best way to get your vitamins to a pipe. Oh my god. Did she get Cobra banned for like two weeks? Yeah, Cobra is now banned. Uh, he got a strike. He is off for two weeks. Uh, he, I think he lost Super Chats as well. because. They, oh, man, that's a huge source yeah. of boggling income. Oh, boy. Ugh. Well, ugh. Ugh. Anyway, anyways, we'll start right there. there this is, is why, like, old dudes fly to the Philippines to pick up a 20-year-old Asian chick. If this is your choice, I'd do the same. Like, these guys risk being killed in foreign countries for a woman that doesn't look like a, a, a villain character from a Tolkien novel. Earlier, um, there was a piece of video that one of these clip channels had found, Caitlin mm -hmm. Winslet, and she actually boosted the audio and got this little gem. Oh, my God, no. This was terrible. Your little fucking fans will pay for it. They're sitting over there talking about her being pregnant. <laughs> the Boggling Chronicles. Many months later. We might have to stop it there. Because that's like probably totally copywritten on fucking YouTube. Yeah, audio's out. <laughs> she was like, Cobra like does all this like posturing like he's a badass dude. And if you mess with me, I'll kick your ass with autism, you know. But she comes in and she just runs train on that dude. If I if it happens, Jossie, it happens. And then then we have beautiful babies and your fans will pay for it. Like, oh, my God, Cobra has no money. <laughs> Imagine she got it for child support. He'd have to literally live back with his father. And that would drive Clint crazy. Uh-oh. You know, I think it was Clint that actually paid for her to come out there. That's my that's my conspiracy theory. Because she got oh gifted the God. ticket anonymously. Oh, my God. I don't know. Like, if, like, he hated his, like, if I hated my son. If I had a son and I fucking hated him. Then I pay for a woman like that to go out there and see him. But then, you know, it's dangerous because he's got autism and he's obviously nutting in her because he's got autism. And uh, what happens if she gets pregnant? Boom. You know, she's not getting rid of the kid. Her life has no meaning. Like, there's nothing there. So, of course, she'd have the kid and actually give her something to live for. But God only knows she'd just be birthing Chris Chan 2.0. Like, she would create a locale so powerful we can't even fathom its existence in this plane of reality. Then, if that's your grandkid, you know you're fucked because Cobra can't pay child support. You know, what's he going to do? Get on stream? Hey, you guys. Baby food and diapers are really expensive. If you know, could send some money, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, well, at least it's not me. I'd rather die. I, um... Earlier that clip, I uh, wanted you to clip about her talking about the lotto. Oh, I to fuck, pay this I forgot for to send it to you. God. That's all right. I got it right here. Yeah. I, I, ah. I went ahead and... Uh... Now, this motherfucker here goes in there and he trolls this bitch. <laughs> He's like, we, we found her new channel. And I'm like, okay. And then I look on like a fake account. I'm not using my real one. He's in there antagonizing her with the lottery. Knowing full damn well that, like, if you bring up the lottery, it just sends this woman into, like, a tangent. Because she can finally explain the lottery story. Let her explain. I'm not going to do it. I, I did. Uh, okay. Basically, Pescatone, or whatever your name is, Pescatory. You got it. 
a voice told me if I play my numbers, I will win. I love it. They didn't give me the numbers. The I already knew the numbers. But I was already in line for a ticket. It was not the power. It was pick four. And so why I didn't step out of line or whatever, I don't know. I feel like as soon as that happened, like my brain, Holly, please, with the slopping, baby. It was like as soon as I left the store, I felt very confused. It was like my brain got wiped out or something. And I, you know, like, why didn't I get out of line to, like, go fill out a thing? Like, why, why, didn't, why didn't I ask? them to punch my numbers in like blah 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 so i like left the store confused whatever and then by the time i remembered it was the exact time that they stopped the fucking lottery the powerball at 9 45 and that night uh my numbers came out that's the story yeah oh, well fuck god then if they want to fuck me over like that they fuck god for not giving me a lotto win. Why is God such a dick by making her forget to play her winning numbers? Technically, when you think about it, okay? Maybe God showed up because a voice told her to play, and that was the Lord. It was Christ our Lord. And she ignored Jesus. So she smited herself. You ungrateful heathen, how dare you? Uh, later on, I'm not going to play the end of it, but later on, she, I asked her how much the total lottery was for. It was for $167 million. And I asked her, I said, you said pick four. Pick four doesn't have that big a lotto. So you antagonized her? A little bit. She ended up saying it was Powerball, and there was a glitch in the Matrix. So it made no sense, but she has mental problems now because <laughs> she didn't listen to the voice inside of her head. <laughs> All this crazy shit the last year is not her fault. It's because she didn't get rich, so she just went full Joker. It's like the origin of the killing joke. Oh, that's delicious. I love single old women. They're always batshit crazy. <laughs> She's a whole bat house crazy full of shit. I'm telling you, I've been watching for the last couple of days. I can't do it, chat. I can't do it. Nobody can truly do it except like the most devoted Boglin chroniclers. I feel like naked and laughing is terrible for King Cobra and she's ruining his life and he, he can't see it because he's too busy trying to own the trolls. It's like I ended my dry spell and they just don't want me to be happy. And meanwhile, she's like on top of him. He looks like he just wants to drop dead. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's head up the next bit of delicious news. Oh, we're going to go ahead and cover your favorite uh, YouTuber, Vosh, and him uh, explaining his horse, uh, his horse fuckery last week. There we go. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, good old Vosh. He's going to explain about the uh, everyone catching him, uh, opening his folder of horsey porn. I know what that suggests. Wait. literally a joke man the horse th the horse thing is not a joke this is we can't let this we can't let this be smeared okay if to whatever extent you know people can say uh oh we place it off as this or that okay i'll make it clear you can write this down i want to fuck a woman as a horse none of this is a secret i just to be clear you know many jokes have been made about this but i stand by it my moral principles are rock solid i'm on my feet are firmly planted in the ground i've got my boots up they're planted firmly you you cannot move me from my position this isn't a secret uh, let's talk to a therapist well, why do you want to be the horse vosh because then i'd have a giant dick okay couldn't you have an, a, a big dick the other way well yeah i could like yeah i could have a big dick hypothetically in any variety of scenarios but then it wouldn't really be a horse dick. well you could be a human with a horse dick yes but then i wouldn't have that powerful stallion energy using it there you go that's it that's the whole thing so Vosh attempted to like um, meme his way out of being caught in 4K. Pretty much, and then he tries to over-explain um, mm -hmm. the 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 mistake, which is showing chat men's formal wear and talking at them about it for hours on end. And I was gonna open up an image with right-click, open a new window, but instead <laughs> I did right-click, save as, and it opened a folder called to be sorted. 
the to be sorted folder, which is where I put images that have yet to be sorted. And yeah, like your porn. In case the name didn't indicate that, was the place that it went to because oh, the file type it. of the image, which was like, I don't know, JPEG or something. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Um, the last image that I saved to the to be sorted folder was an image of Marcel from Dungeon Meshi being roasted by um, uh, Gordon Ramsay while cooking a mandrake. Hold on. Let me show you the architect of my pain. I am the architect of all your pain. That's oh, from the good Bond God movie. almighty. And then he, he, show, he tries to explain it away, but the, this, but go ahead. There's nothing really explained. Like he, he got caught. He exposed himself. Like we all know it's true, dude. You had your pornography next to your fucking taxes. This isn't some like amazing comedy bit. This is just your real life. Your everything you said was weird, like what a year ago. Fuck him. I don't even care. He looks at like that weird shit. I don't. It doesn't put money in my bank account. Fuck him. He's a weird leftist. And what else is new? Water's wet. The sky's blue. Someone that leans far left is crazier than you. Quote me. God damn it. I'm smelling the worst dog farts in human history, and I'm supposed to try and make sense of Vosh's wax stack. Ah. Life is a cruel, bitter mistress. Instead of me playing Wembley Stadium, I'm on YouTube. He's going to explain a little bit about his goblin fetish as well. I thought you would enjoy goblin? this part. Goblin? What the fuck is a goblin fetish? That's right. That was the vibe that I got because in the image, the girl that's shown has super thick legs and has like tits and a belly. So that's just the vibe I got. But now knowing that the artist is a lollycon, which I have been roundly reminded of obviously uh, yeah. knowing the that was it was intended out. to be a lolly drawing so like that's how it is right it's a drawing you get it without context i know that when i save them i save them because both the drawings have like a meaty dick in it and i'm a huge size queen so like yeah, that's you, obvious, you, you, bro. you look at it in retrospect <laughs> and it's like okay well now with the broader context i can understand how it comes off that way um even if initially or like at first glance the vibe would be more thick short stack but You'll notice, has anything that I've just said sounded like it would even remotely convince the kind of people who are intent on smearing me over this? No. And, and, and frankly, the effort to defend it from my perspective comes uh. across as exactly what you would expect anyone to do or say, given the situation, right? The only... Oh, my God. This has gone on too long. I know. It's one of the few times Ethan Klein roasted someone and I was on Ethan's side. That's how bad this looks. I've got Ethan roasting him if you want to look at that. Now, let's see. We're already down the rabbit hole. Vosh. One second. These people that are talking, they want to smear on me. Like, bro, there was like tons of horse dicks in there and like anime girls. It's wild. Like, and it wasn't one, it was like a couple next to taxes. And to be sorted. sorted later. Thank God we didn't see the to be sorted later file. That shit would have turned your knuckles white. Probably be like Bernie Sanders is a centaur humping some other person that looks like a... Ah, oh, we'll just move on. All right, let's move on. So here he is in his stream that he did on Friday. So at first, <clears throat> surprise, surprise, he accuses me of clip chimping. What the fuck is oh, clip chimping? Yeah. Uh, How about you guys fight you each other? For those who don't know, Ethan Klein and his um, uh, friends over in the H3 pod dedicated about uh -huh. two hours of the podcast to doing like a like the platonic ideal of a bad faith Vosh is a pedophile takedown, including <laughs> like like everything like like uh, five years ago, like stuff that's been addressed so long that I, I mean I didn't see it. I saw people in my Discord. This motherfucker oh, already sit there. I could not believe this. And tell me, <laughs> I'm right out of the gate. That he didn't watch it. <clears throat> Talk Dude. about it. I didn't want to watch it myself, partly because it would just make me upset, and partly because I was getting a haircut at the time. Well, um, listen, I understand not wanting to watch something because it make you upset, but. At the same time, just don't speak. At the same time, if you are going to talk about to it, it, you yeah. kind of you're going to do it. If you're going to do why it, why won't these motherfuckers have a knife fight. party? Yeah. Hey, What's happening here? Why is the who's dog. chewing on this? Oh, okay, he's done. 
It's like, oh, okay. I'll mess with the button, doggy. Um, but like, it was it wasn't even like anything temporal. It was literally just <sighs> like, fuck works. this guy. My understanding is that they were even doing like the Tacoma wept jokes and pretending that the Tacoma wept thing wasn't a joke. Like, like. Oh, the, I understand okay. you were trying to be like over the top and and uh, silly, but it was still creepy and fucking weird, bro. Oh boy. I don't even know what the like, fuck's going I, I, on. I'm gonna just wept. What is going on? About is uh, all the times that uh, he references horse cock, like even in the past. I heard uh, the coma wet joke, and I'm sitting here like, is that a truck? Hold on, we can. Uh, I can show this quick. Oh my Didn't god, he? we're gonna go down another rabbit hole. This is uh, all clips, all screenshots from Vosh's Discord. The all all the times he talked about horse cock. Alright, let's do this because we don't know if we can, like, add the music forever. Yeah, this music's fine. It's just... <laughs> We're only halfway. Uh, only halfway! I didn't mean to be should have drawn a cock with a horse or whatever that are considered a horse like you have nothing like protein and hawk of a what 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 horse stick horse stick horse stick exhausting love horse cars and they're pretty what what but because holy because I god damn it's too fast now fuck the horses you hear it ah I'm ready to get fucked by what this one I thought was good uh a rip woman with a horse penis is as far as I'm concerned the platonic ideal of human proportion what the fuck? This is supposed to be like huge comedy moments. Oh, God damn it. There was a time when I used to sit in bars and play music and push women off of me. Now I'm looking at Vosh fight H3H3 over horse cock. Why don't they just settle this in the ring? But they both ride horses with like giant dildos and whack each other. <laughs> it really entertained the people. You got the money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ride the back of Boogie and Wings as they just joust each other with giant rubber dicks. That's what I'm thinking. I got the new moves for the uh Low Cal Live podcast. I'll call I'll call Keen. We'll get it we'll get it scheduled. Uh you want to listen to any more of Boss's Like, bullshit? when do they get to, like, really just going at each other and it's funny? Like, when do they start roasting each other? Boss yeah. doesn't roast anybody. The thing that people pretend to do where they see an indiscriminate shit talking and smearing, then it's obviously not okay. any kind of, like, pointed criticism. So with that been, with that in mind, like, what do I, do I even... What are... Why did you make this? <laughs> why did you come and do this? Right. You know, I gotta uh, agree with that was your, you there. Your insight on it, but okay. He should have just came um, out and said, you know what? I'm a big pervert. Chatter I'm says, not gonna Bosh, lie to you. you need to watch the podcast for the full context. And here's his response. You Fuck should really context. watch the segment. They didn't just watch the out of context clips. They watched some of the explanations too. Um, no. I, oh, pigeon. The hell was Jesus. that? A rat? I leapt across the desk. Uh, no, I've done this so many times. So many times. Uh, like, <laughs> Why it's now? Been Why five is it years, now guys. that you're... I've done this so many times and no more. All of a sudden. Yet uh -huh. you've refuse to come up with a logical defense. Okay, just that... pause this. Okay. Honest to Christ, how do they need so many people in that room to say next to nothing? Like, really, I'm sitting here like, okay, this is where Ethan Klein just rips into Vosh and it gets funny. And instead, you have Vosh over there pretending he's like an Englishman from the 1900s. When people saw my pornography and started to accuse me of horse fuckery, I was quite bellicose that they would accost me in such a manner. This will not stand. How dare you besmirch my character? <laughs> you know? And then Ethan Klein is like, why'd you make the video, dude? And then his wife is like, yeah, the video. Like, what's the point of this? And then someone in the background is overpaid. He didn't watch the whole video. Like, it doesn't have the context. Yeah, what's pulling the table? Uh, it's one of the dogs. What the fuck is this? God damn it. Hire me, Spotify. I'm a better podcaster. You, couldn't anyone lay into Vosh? Of course he didn't watch. He was too busy getting his hair done for his date 
with a fucking Clydesdale that starred a Budweiser commercial. Next subject, god damn it. Jesus, <laughs> fuck. Uh, let's take a quick break and do some super chats because they are really piling up on me. What, super chats? Super chats. For this garbage show? For this trash. Um, T with the five pounds. Hey, Gundam. Would you ever consider a YouTuber Freakazoid on your podcast? Also, did you play any other Yakuza apart from Zero and Judgment? Uh, I don't know who Freakazoid is. Sorry about that. I was playing Yakuza Kiwami, but recent years of YouTube has resulted in me having less time to fucking do anything I want to do outside of being at the stupid computer. Fucking hate it. I'd love to play more Yakuza games. They're great. I love them. What the hell is this? Maverick 7508 with the $10. I look forward to Orange Man, but we are on the Weimar track at the moment. After that, we're likely to end up with a militant left-wing party in power. The lessons we haven't learned. Well, you know, if things get too bad, don't worry. Do not worry your little head, Maverick. I'll be safe because I'll leave the country. I'll probably hide in, uh, I don't know, either Japan, maybe Argentina. Eh, somewhere like that. King Zizella 101 just became a member. Congratulations. Let me put on my super chat face. There we go. Thank you. CW with a $10 super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, Pin Up Panda with the $50. <laughs> hey, Gundam, I'm still around, and I'm still very much enamored by your tiny robot, robot painting skills. Thank you, Pin Up Panda. Even though I have very little time to paint. Someone said Brazil. Nah, dude, I'm not going to Brazil. I had a woman trying to get me to go to Brazil. And she's like, don't worry, you'll be fine in Brazil. I'm like, uh, no. She's like, listen, you'll be fine in Brazil. Because she's Latin. Long as you don't seem American. And I'm like, how the fuck do I not seem American? I've got a New York accent. And she's like, just pretend you're from Canada. I'm like, I don't know fuck about Canada. I have to say I'm sorry everything I do. Is that a Canadian thing? Hey, you hoser. Uh, sorry, I don't know my way around the La Havelas. <laughs> Mike Rogers, become a member for one month. Have you read the Vince McMahon text? They are wild. Actually, I We're know going where to get at. those. The, I, I'll get those in a minute when I have a second. But he's, he, I know a part of it where he's talking to his, uh, the hooker. And he's like, yeah, Bob looked at your pictures. He wants to schedule fucking for Wednesday. And John wants to schedule for Saturday. It's so wild. it's a very business text message. Yes. Well, if it's a hooker, and can we say hooker? We can say hooker. If it's a hooker and she's selling ass, and Vince McMahon is brass tacks, he's not going to dance around the subject. He's not like a fucking OnlyFans user. Vince McMahon is a classic pervert. They get to the women and they tell you what they want immediately. I've done the same thing. Well, I haven't had a hooker, but I I used to prank call um uh, escorts as a kid because <laughs> you could back then. Oh, that was fun. And no matter what I said to the escort guy, everything was on the table. So I would call. I say, uh, I'm a businessman and I have very discerning taste. I have very special needs that I need met that my wife can't fulfill. And then he goes, we can get you anything you want. And so I go, I need the women. I need like four of them inside a chicken wire fence pretending to be chickens while they're naked and grazing on gravel and grubs. And he goes. Yeah, don't see no problem with that. So meanwhile, I'm like sitting there and I'm looking at my friends like, what the, f where do I go from here if that's fine? So then I say, all right, then I need a phone wire and I need to be allowed to whip the women repeatedly while I dance around the cage, roostering and cawing and making odd noises. And the dude goes, yeah, you can hit the women with a phone wire because that's back when phones still had wires. That's how long back ago. <laughs> like, if you're poor, you had a phone with a wire in my day. <laughs> Only the people oh, with money didn't have a wire. And then the dude's like, yeah, you can beat the women with, like, fucking phone cords and chicken wire fence. I had to hang up the phone. I had no way to go from there. Because I wasn't, you know, I didn't know that much about sex. So what do you do out there? Beat a woman with chicken wire fence? I don't know. That's how babies are made. Uh. Shin Yanu with the TBH 1000. I don't know what that is. Finally, I catch you live. I would love to give you more money, but I do not want to give Google the money. Hopefully, MG Ball and Umi Chan arrives, arrive safely. Oh, that's Shin. 
Oh, he's he's a very powerful Asian in Thailand. Thank you, Shin. Oh, basically, it was still phones around. So you either had a phone if you were broke with a wire. There was the wireless phones, and then there were cell phones. I didn't get a cell phone until like as a teenager because I was broke. Ah, the iPhone 3. That was my first real phone. The first time I got to have my pornography on the go. Life-altering. Eponis Chaplin with the $5. Hunter Biden, the party animal with Alex Jones as vice president. We I'd would die. <laughs> You'd vote for that ticket <laughs> just to watch ticket. us all die. The entire American budget would be gone because Hunter would snort it. The Department of Sniffs. <laughs> Maverick, 7508 with the $5. The voice actors from X-Men. Um, T-A-S. Uh, I don't know. I, I forgot that. Uh, that are in the X-Men 97. The, oh, I think it's the original series. And the X-Men 97 sure seems sucky compared to their old work. Also, R.I.P. Rogue's ass cheeks. Yeah, the yeah, Lost Rogue uh, ass was terrible. And Wolverine doesn't sound like Wolverine at all. He's a brand new actor, as a, as a matter of fact. No, I Googled it. It's the same old guy. It's the same old? Wow. Yeah, Something I guess happened. like... Yeah, I guess he got too old. I don't know. Speaking of... Well, classic scene. This scene in the X-Men, um, Apocalypse is kicking everybody's ass. And then Rogue falls over because I think he zapped her and her shirt burned off. Now that's animation. And all that was left was the might of Rogue's butt cheeks. That Eat image it. has been on the internet <laughs> for as long as I can remember. <laughs> oh, we're never going to fly that high ever again. No, there goes Phil. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, what? What is this? I'm trying to find what it looks like now. There we go. Ah, boy. What a treat. Mm. Looks like cheese sliding off a cracker. No, it looks like Rogue's a little boy. Like, what the fuck is this? Fuck you, modern Disney. All right. Cowards. Baby. Uh, RRA41 with the 3699. Yo, Gundam, any word on the absolute destruction brought by lo Lolly Connoisseur and horse enthusiast Vosh by Ethan Klein? I think the destruction was Ethan Klein made a tweet that roasted Vosh, which we probably should have went with that rather than actually, you know, watching the very boring segment. The four My hour God. H3 podcast. <laughs> four that hours never front of loads like anything. Four hours of Vosh being dissected by Ethan Klein. Oh my god, it must have been just terrible. I heard that's how they fucking torture soldiers in POW camps. Chinora Bog with the $2. What glory to catch Gundam on a Saturday acid trip. I love... Can we say acid? Yes. Yeah, I like the stuff. I, I like getting high. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a treat. Thank uh, you for showing up while tripping. Hopefully this was worth it. Janora Bog with another two dollars. I'm gonna go watch Robocop one and two before I play the game. You know, we're never getting anything like Robocop either, dude. Like that first Robocop movie, iconic. I can't tell you much about it, but it's just like, oh, he shot a dude in the balls. Then like when he died, they blew him to bits. They yeah, shot his buddy to Swiss cheese. Ah. You're not going to get that they again. They melted that. No, when the guy was inside his house with yeah. those hookers and he, un and he pulled the pin on the grenade and just spun it on the table. The guy couldn't get it because his legs were all shot up. Masterful cinema. Yeah, that's like that's like Chicago. Sonic Jaded with the $2. Gundam, are you going to fire an editor? He might fire a producer. Yeah, his like the producer's job is always on the line, it feels like, these days. Why isn't this thing catching my facial movements, you little piece of shit? Lyrical Thesis with the $2. Did Loki transition? Ironically, Lyrical Thesis, Loki does become a woman in the Marvel comics. An attractive one at that. I think he, like, stole a version of Sith or something like that. Sir, the, the, the Wars, uh girlfriend. I can't remember her name right now. There's a whole storyline you don't need to know in the comics. Uh, Raging D head with another five dollars. This chick looks like she literally has ticks. She's more than that. Oh man, could you? I just got nothing. I feel bad for Cobra. That's a low, a low fall. DSP got hotter crazy. chicks. 
Maverick 7508 with the $10. Alcoholism, alcoholism is pretty rough. It killed seven members of my dad's family. He had issues too since the painkillers didn't work. And he had arthritis from a bad parachute landing. He managed to control it mostly. Well, your old man like was in the military. The average person can't control alcoholism or falling off a parachute wrong. God BB bless 11. you, Maverick. BB-11 just became a member. Thank you so much. Snoopy Diz, uh, with the $5, get yourself some Wendy's Chili Gundam with cheese. That's important. <laughs> yes, like Wings will let you know you have to have <laughs> Wendy's Chili with cheese. King's Conquest with the $2. Why am I bricked? Are you bricked for Cobra's woman? You have to fight Cobra for that. <laughs> That's Ted my piece of ass. Ted Collin with the $5. Cobes had to resort to sleeping with a spitter from L4D2 he found behind a Wendy's. Cobes has his own Cobes, and it was amazing. Man, I I don't even know what to say. Because when I think about the situation of Cobra, like, Jessica's there, whatever her name is, I don't know. And she's just being just terrible and annoying. And she doesn't shut up. And she just keeps running her mouth. And Cobra's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she goes, Cal, uh, Joshy, can we get some weed? I need some fucking weed. And he goes, don't talk about weed on the chat in the stream. Uh, okay, you know, but I'm not trying to set up nothing. We're not trying to buy it. It's illegal here in Casper. But when are we getting the weed? Don't talk about the weed. It is just like fucking A, dude. She's annoying, unattractive. And I think he said her sweat smells like onions or something. <laughs> and Wendy's. Burgers? Homeless trifecta. Oh, did he say homeless? He didn't say homeless. He didn't say homeless. I she got homeless. him high as fuck on that last stream, though. Like, yeah. Cobra was done. Whatever she gave him practically killed him. <laughs> Cobra's laid back in a chair, passing out, pouring beer all over himself. You look oh. like Gigi Allen in the casket. She probably got him, like, completely zonked out of his mind and then totally humped him to try and get preggers. Guarantee it. The only she, thing saving Cobra's ass is her ass is like 39 and in horrible shape. So the odds of a geriatric pregnancy is like at a thousand percent. She got on his channel while he was asleep. I thought that was pretty interesting. And he didn't. And he woke up when the cops were called. I wanted to play that <laughs> part. But... <laughs> uh, Lulu four with the five dollars, which is worse. Valsh's horse lollipop pictures. Or Lakendra's history of choking the chicken to dead Muppets and the green M&M. I have never even seen the second one. What is that? I don't know. Oh, God. This is, I'm not going any more down any no, more rabbit holes. Safe. I've already saw Cobra's woman stream today running in a fucking airport while yelling at trolls and sounding like a crazy person. No more. No more. No. Mm-mm. Snowbird2701 with the $5. Here's a joke to make your day brighter. <clears throat> what did Steven Tyler say when he walked into the anime convention? We all know it's going to be dude. It looks like a lady. Because it's on. I was going to see if you were going to sing it. Oh, no. I wasn't going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> it you can't Con even say dude looks like a lady now. King's Conquest with the $2. What's more sad is me and Gundam are still single. Do we have sad music? Oh. We we don't plan for these things. Boglin Chronicles That's is the best supercut. Thank you, Ted Comet, for two dollars. He does have good supercuts, but we need super supercuts. Like we need the greatest hits. Ironically, these are the types of people who win. The lottery. That's true. You are right, King. SPD for five. Uh this weekend morning. <laughs> I'm supposed to go out, watch Madam Web with friends, but thank goodness you're live. You just saved another life, Gundam. I am interested to seeing Madam Web, just to see how bad it is, because I've seen so many bad films in the last year or two of my life. It's like I actively watch trash. Uh, what's this one? Eponian says nope to his horse request. I probably got that wrong. Uh, McFly for the five. How did Vosh find this horse in the tall grass? A very satisfying cue. Why did Vosh fall off the road? Answer, he didn't see the... 
What? Owie turn? I, I don't get it. You turn? You turn. Is that like a you? So it's like, isn't a you like a donkey or a goat? Right? Yeah. 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 Something like that. Oh, so like the you saw a goat turn and somehow the horse escaped him. But the horse does all the banging in Vosh's fantasies. So the horse would obviously be very amorous towards Vosh. And what's the fascination with having a big dick? That I don't get. He sure did go into that. Into, into There's the a detail. lot of like dick stuff. Even in like the chat thing. It's a lot of big dicks. It's, what is that? I, he's all, I want to have a big dick to, pump, to pound a woman as a horse <laughs> and all this stuff. I'm like, bro, you need to go work that out. Bro, like... Get yourself a fucking, you know, if I was that into horses, I would buy myself a custom made, like lower body, like a horse. And I would enjoy my time as that. And then you got to find a chick into like weird furry stuff. It'll happen. Hell, I had one chick totally ditch me for a furry. And uh, I guess I can't tell too much of the story. He would nail her with his furry mask on. So he would have to be a wolf and he would bark and howl at her and scratch her back. Like, actively really scratch her, which is more like a cat thing, if you ask me. And she goes off with this dude and ditches me. And then he would force butt sex on her. And the story gets worse from there. But the moral of the story is, if some weird dude like that can get a woman, I'm sure Voss wearing, like, horse PJs with a little tail is totally up some chick's alley. Random denial. <clears throat> Hi there, Gundam. Love from Malaysia. Thank you. The Malaysians are cool with me. The, the Thai are cool with me. The Filipinos, some Japanese, not that big in China or Korea. Yeah, you know, if I have to leave the country, I guess I'm gonna have to go to Asia. That's my point. Elijah W with the five dollars. I love you, Gundam, but what the fuck did I just walk into? I'm not drunk enough for this. You and me both, Elijah. It's a, you pick this crap, but two. Um, I can't do a normal show. I I have to admit that I. I don't want to talk about current events unless they're funny or interesting to me. Oh, it's another bad movie. Tell me more. How I don't already know. No, when you come here, you come here for the absolute garbage. You come to hear the sort of conversations you'd hear from guys at a bar or at your job during the 15-minute break that these cocksuckers just give to you begrudgingly. And then some dude just goes over, you know, I know this guy online, he likes to have sex with horses. He's a real piece of shit. And you sit there after a long day of working at whatever job you had. In my case, it was uh, stacking boxes in a warehouse. And you go, interesting. I better listen because this sounds important. That's my show in a nutshell. Swinging Cod with the $10. Dude, we listen to you on DSP lore. You can suffer through Vosh lore. You <laughs> You would probably enjoy Ralph Gunt lore if you give it a try. I've tried now, it, Chad. I've tried it. He doesn't like the gun. I'm not interested in a lot of shit anymore, dude. It's like I got so little time in the day. I'm not going into Vosh's horsery. I'm not horsing around with Vosh. And I've had enough DSP lore to last me a lifetime. I know more about DSP than his fucking family probably knows about him at this point. I got to edit that DSP video. JTC with the two dollars. The show keeps getting crazier and crazier. Well, it has to get crazier. That there's nothing else going on. We could talk about the news, but that's pretty boring. Ian Fitzgerald with the two pounds. Mr. Stream, please read the Vince text. I'll pull them up as soon as I get a chance. The the Vince text. I need to see these next. They seem important. Um, lyrical thesis with the two dollars. Getting horsed is the new blacked. Well, uh, let's not even go into it, honest to God. Uh, Keeping his chaplain with the $2, rather send you money than go buy more cigarettes. Oh, God bless you. If you're in New York, it's probably a good move. We've got so many taxes on cigarettes, it's fucking stupid to smoke here. Alex K. with the Seek 20. Miss you, Daddy Gundam. Thank you, Alex. What is and Seek money worth? Hopefully more than the Argentinian money. Because Kyle Marco just gifted 20 subs. Let's get him in here. Uh, Volk with the RSD 250. It takes you 20 hours to edit a video. Bro, I could edit those in an hour. Slow retard. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bullshit. You know how many editors I've worked with that they're... 
I tried hiring an editor that worked with somebody else, and I showed them my timeline and shit I do. And this guy's a pro editor. He looks at this shit and he goes, you're fucking crazy. This is crazy. And I'm like, yeah, so can you do it? And he's like, I could never do these 40-minute videos you edit. You must be wiped out when you finish. And I'm like, yeah, it sucks. This is like this one time that my internal organs felt like they were falling out of my asshole. That's when I knew I was pushing myself too far. You could edit these videos in an hour if you cut out all the layers of animation and shit. Good Lord. Even my like editor, not my editor, um, my designer, when she looks at my timeline, she sits there and goes, you know what you're doing? And I'm like, art? She's like, no, you're doing low-level animation. This is ridiculous. And I'm like, fuck. So I need to make lazier videos. It would be the smart move, honest to God, because nobody's watching shit anymore during election season. It'd be smarter for me to just like read an article, edit fucking nothing. Hell, I could just put this avatar in the corner like this. Today's news, Vosh was hungry for more cock and a bit more cock. Whoa, there's a lot of these cock references. Well, tune in later for Dismal Disney. And then the video ends and I pick up my fat check. Uh, Don't forget to put woke in the title as you're going. Oh early. yeah, oh, to I'm fucking stupid, Jesus. Woke, they hate this. They hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Disney wants to murder your children. <laughs> I better click the video now. Fuck, Mickey Mouse is outside the door. <laughs> I saw that hit piece video on YouTube today. Uh uh, let me finish up these real quick. Moose Flunky with the $10. Gundam, because someone, not your family, actually cares. I got a field seer suit that I'm not using. Too old and too fat. If it works for you, you can have it. I have to look up a field shear. I've never even heard that. I'm field guessing that. Shear. I've never heard of field shear suits, to be real with you. Ah, oh, look at it. Oh, does it actually look bad? That's Revit. God damn it. I'll look later when I have the free time, my dude. Crispy with the $10. Need to call PETA on you for punishing Fluffy by making him her watch Disney Marvel content. Greta Thunberg voice. Can't do that. How dare you? How dare you? You know what's what? funny? Like, sometimes Fluffy leaves the room. I was watching Aquaman. Fluffy just left. She was, like, on my lap. She got up. And then Jason Momoa was like, and then we pounded down with a nice pile of Guinness. <laughs> Dog got off my lap, walked out the fucking room. I was like, oh, man. Um, Even the dog knows that he's a paid shell. And that's coming from a paid shell. I'm going to stop right there. Uh, let's do a quick palate cleanser rule. Oh, Hello. God damn it. The dog farted. So if you're making $50,000, don't date. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's oh, not play. Please. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need wow, this to not louder. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the singing jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Be cutting up. I'm you just talk about me. So if you're well, so. basically, this uh, confirms something I've known for years. Don't fuck with black women in Atlanta because they're all bougie as fuck. <laughs> That's on the real. The fact that chick is giving that sort of advice, like, honey, you should find a man that makes your ass run around the fucking park seven times a day or some shit. Good God almighty. It's never. Oh, man, I just can't. It sucks me to do today because you get this sort of shit. And it just makes you think, like, why would you date? This is your options. You're constantly being judged. Good Lord, who the fuck needs a woman in her life? She's not making you a man you're supposed to be. How's she supposed to know what man I'm supposed to be? She don't know how to be a man. She couldn't last five minutes in my world. The first day of someone telling her to get fucked while she walked across the street, she'd have a mental breakdown. It's hard being a man. I'm trying to tell you. Pimps got it hard out here. Lord have mercy. Hard every day. Yes, Jesus. 
it might be hard being a man, but how hard is it being a man being a woman? Uh oh. Uh good night, everybody. Let's say take down a channel. Rachel Levine. Hello, I'm Admiral Rachel Levine. This Black History Month, I'm pleased to partner with OMH in advancing better health through better understanding for black communities. Climate change is having a disproportionate effect on the physical and mental health of black communities. Black Americans are more likely than white Americans to live in areas and housing that increase their susceptibility to climate-related health issues. And 65% of black Americans report feeling anxious about climate change's impact. Through our Office of Climate Change and Health Equity and the Office of Environmental Justice, we're working with providers and community leaders to identify innovative approaches that empower communities to address the health consequences linked to climate change. Visit hhs.gov for more information and tune in next Thursday to hear from another HHS leader on how you can contribute to advancing better health for black communities. How the fuck does the climate change affect black communities? You know what affects black communities, I'll tell you right motherfucking now. The fact that gay community gets June for their month, but black people get February. Nobody's feeling February. You can't have a barbecue in February. What the fuck is this? Climate change would be a pretty sick ass thing. Imagine a warm barbecue in February, motherfucker. You know what else bothers the black community? Migrants getting money in New York. And they don't. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Climate change affects black people now. Well, I'm sure the black community is going to change their vote because I hear Trump doesn't support climate change. Thank God. Ah. Next up, mm. um, I've got a special one for you. Can uh, it get any more motherfucking special? You're deliberately picking shit that you know will fuck with me. <laughs> I love it, chat. We're gonna do one more. This is the uh this is the this white you know, woman has if, the idea. She has the idea of how to live in San Diego right now. I'm just gonna say there's a time when my uncle pulled a knife on somebody at a barbecue. That shit would have never happened in February. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> uh now, what the Abigail, fuck is this? This is Abigail Martin. She has over a million subscribers on TikTok. <clears throat> she is a van life creator. And a million followers on TikTok doesn't mean shit. The dude who took Destiny's bitch has a million followers, and Destiny's bitch has to pay for him to have a place to live. It's horrible. I don't know. The he content. got Destiny's bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, she is a good-looking woman. I'm going to admit it. She's kind of hot. He's a little bit hot. Hot. Uh, effeminate as well. Not hot. <laughs> he looks like the lead singer of the 1975s or some shit. So that's working for him. Be like a lanky, stringy-haired white dude. Dance like a fucking weather balloon. The Jess girls breaking hearts. You'll get something. You know, there's some for everybody. Okay, well, going back to this uh, woman, this lovely this woman lovely that's woman. obviously left-leaning because her tattoos lack any fucking direction or coordination. <laughs> I'm sure explain. it matches her life. She's going to explain how living in San Diego, she doesn't pay rent. And instead of paying rent, she bought a Mercedes van. So To be just, real, who pays for rent in San Diego anymore? Everybody's outside on the streets. So I don't pay for rent to live in San Diego. However, I did pay for the van that I live in. So let's talk about... What the hell happened? I don't know why it's not. Oh, Lord have mercy. Fucking the Chinese caught us. You do not get free so content I here. To live in San Diego, however, I did pay for the van that I live in. So let's talk about how much it costs. So this van is a 2018 Mercedes Sprinter. I bought it with 90,000 miles on it, and I paid $33,580. 25,000 of that I took out in a loan. I built this van at a sick Airbnb in the middle of the desert in Joshua Tree called Circadian Ranch, and I spent $3,700 to stay there for six weeks during the build. I also paid someone to help me with half the van build, and that was $15,000. That brings us to materials, which cost me a total of $14,350, and that brings us to a total of $66,630. I know, but I will be able to sell this van for more than I paid for it, so to me, it's more cost-effective than renting. That's girl logic right there. Now, let's just, let's go back, chat. She spent thirty. Three thousand dollars on a Sprinter van that has nearly a hundred thousand miles on it. 
Then she paid someone $15,000 to take $15,000 worth of gear and shoved it in this van while she stayed at a posh Airbnb for a few month, few weeks at the cost of $4,000. Now she's 66000 into a, a van that's probably going to blow up in a few months. And it's all loans. There's no cash involved here. It's all loans. Wonderful. This is where your tax money is going to. Right out the door. Oh, Gundam, you might be muted. Uh, sorry, I was having a mental breakdown. Thank God I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> The second you said where well, your tax money is going, I just, I lost it. Then you're like, it's all loans. I was losing it in the background. Every bit. She said she, uh, she took Girl out 25000 and the rest of it was all loans. So yeah, about 50 something nine thousand in loans for a van that she can live in down by the river. I hate van life because it's so stupid. And it's probably, I hate it because it affects me slightly because I, I have women talking to me and some of them are like, I want to do van life. You should come with me. Like, I don't want to live out of a fucking van. I don't sit doing YouTube videos for umpteen days a week, researching, writing, reading, editing. To live in a van down by the river that you end up paying 50 grand for? That makes no sense. None. She could have put a down payment on like a little shitty house. But the house wouldn't be somewhere she wanted to live. Like, it wouldn't be a house in San Diego, obviously. So instead of, like, investing money in, I don't know, the market or something, plan for your future, God forbid you don't get married, which most likely won't fucking happen because she don't need no man. Then, at least if you put your money away, you have a little nest egg later. Or if you got yourself an affordable home, at least you have someplace you can die with dignity rather than being in a fucking old folks home where some you know, lady from the Dominican Republic is beating the ever-loving stuffing out of you because you won't take your vitamins. Now, instead, she pissed it away on this and then makes a TikTok video on top of it. So maybe she's making money somewhere well, through sponsors or something, right? There has to be. I mean, this is all she makes as far as content goes. It's just her, her raggedy-ass van that she thinks she'll sell for more than she put into it. That's the other uh, wonderful Well, woman she's probably... Trait. Girl she balls. thinks she can sell more because the market right now is just like it's insane for used cars. So her head is thinking like, oh, it's like a used car you can live in. And it's a Mercedes. And I invested so much money. Like if, putting this shit in a car doesn't add to the value. You know, like you're better off taking all that shit out of the car and then selling it on the side. Then sell the car bone stock. Every asshole knows that. What am I doing? Why am I having this conversation? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I have these conversations with women in my life and uh, I just sort of brought that energy here <laughs> where it's like something so stupid is pitched to me and I start thinking about how it's supposed to work and the, the logic just isn't there for it. Uh, God bless her. I can't wait till her fucking channel dies and then TMZ will do a video on her in like 10 years. Remember Van Girl? She's doing OnlyFans in the National Park. Whoa! And some shit like that. And, uh, you know, ever since, like, my TikTok channel didn't fall in the same views, like, I had to make money. I had to take care of myself. So I started fucking men behind dumpsters. And they're like, oh, my God, this tale is so sad. She's so brave. Speaking Here's of dumpsters, link. it's your favorite. Oh, my God. Oh, it's even worse without sound. No, stop yeah, the video. She, she doesn't stop have any sound. the video. <laughs> Stop the video. She oh, it's, it's bad. Stopped. God damn it. We're gonna have to like we're gonna have to put a warning on this. What the fuck is this? It's what's like wrong with Kathy Griffin's from Star face? Trek. You know what's wrong with Kathy Griffin's face? Joan Rivers fucking died. So Kathy Griffin's quickly the, the vulture she is. She swooped in and stole Joan Rivers' shtick of seeing who could get the most surgeries next to Michael Jackson and live. But unfortunately for Joan Rivers, the bitch made a clerical error at exposing the husband. I mean, the first husband. Oh, my God. The president's wife <laughs> calling her a tranny. Rivers was dead in a week. Oh, my God. Obama must have called in Clinton for a favor. Was she speaker at the house at the time? 
Yeah, she was. See? All he did, he went a few rooms over. Uh, could you help me? I can't do a fucking no, Obama she was voice. Secretary of Defense, I, I believe. Or Secretary She's of State. She's somewhere Secretary where he State. could get to her. He's like, listen, this raggedy ass old bitch said something about my man. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hillary was like, say no more. I've had to silence many of Bill's women. All right, you can get on my lap, Fluffy. The show is not political. <laughs> Let me pull her off of there before I get turned into a stone. Yeah, Kathy looks like she's shedding or molting. She has no skin left to pull back, bro. Ugh. What do you want, Fluffy? What are you trying to get? What are you trying to get? What are you trying to get off the table? That's not for you. It's not for puppies. No, uh, don't, don't do take my mean? headphones off. What do what? I want to do next? Oh, my what God. Is... it's I, I've got uh, Hassan talking about Vosh. If we still want to go with the Voshness. It better be funny. Hassan well, is probably Hassan's so happy about funny. Vosh. Hassan's this sounds not... like, thank God, Vosh's horse debacle got people to forget I'm a a Nepo baby. Hold on. Moving this over here. Motherfucker wearing a hat like he supports people in New York. <laughs> like, look, my honest assessment of this situation as it stands now is that, like, because a lot of weird, like, alt right motherfuckers have routinely d done this to. to <sighs> Bro, really? Was is he. That like his fan base is just so polarized towards anyone and everyone being like, hey, this shit's weird, man. It's like a weird thing. It's, it's weird and gross, especially when paired up with all the other instances where you've like brought forward CP as a as an argument. Like it 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 feels gross and weird and and possibly pedophilic. And I think that like for some reason, people that get invested in content creators, they don't understand. And think, yeah, like your like, fan no, base, no, no, bro. you don't get it. Like this is all right wing nonsense. So it comes across like there are so many people in in this community not this one obviously but in Vosh's community oh yeah oh like totally defending what looks to every normal person like you are defending child pornography ah oh, christ almighty you know we're gonna get nailed for that right no nah, you can say that no you can't it's fucking youtube he can say that i can't i can't do much of fuck I make fun of Twitch dots. YouTube swoops in and goes, oh, we see that you're promoting prostitutes. I'm like, what, bro? Where's the prostitute? And then they just go radio silent. We're not reversing this decision. Of course you're not, you fucking ghouls. You absolute pay pigs. I, I can't come up with anything. Oh, motherfucking oh, shit. Oh, um, the special guest is here, actually. I can go ahead okay. and let them, uh, let them come on. That looks All like right. Hassan Piker. What the fuck is this? What? What the? Why the fuck does it sound like Skeletor? I'm sorry. I just had second lunch. Was lunch? What did What did Phil have on? If you're a cat, I don't buy it. Oh, I had Phil's lunch. Yeah, I know you had Phil's lunch, but what was Phil wearing? That's how we're gonna. Ah, uh, uh, fuck it, hey. This might actually be cat. God damn it. You got me with the Zelda PJs. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, you imposter. Whoops. Does Phil have man tits or not? Hmm? Picks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. This is cat. Oh, I'm so sorry I ever doubted you, cat. Oh, uh, cat. What? Did you uh, what? Like my the night. Nobody saw it. I'm not going to lie to you, cat. Uh, also, is your jaw unhinged here? Like, what the fuck is this? Yes, I unhinge it whenever I have second lunch. Normally, I have to put logs two at a time, one in each hand. No? So hmm. my jaw has to hook back in. It takes a few minutes. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, well, you know, when you said second lunch, that's when I knew this was serious. Only true professional eaters know about second lunch. Yes. Second lunch and third dinner are my favorite times of the day. <laughs> what's uh what's uh, what's Phil doing today? What what have we got planned for today's stream? Well, the schedule says uh more Baldingate. I'm sorry, Baldur's Gate. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And um, later on, after dinner, of course, we're going to listen to some jazz in the bed. <laughs> Seven beds, of course. I... Are you sure you don't want to like uh, make Phil watch better looking male streamers again before well, bed? I, I've tried, but every time I put on some streamers, he just falls asleep on me, just like our honeymoon. Yeah, I think like DSP falls asleep out of jealousy. It's a very tender subject, a man's work in his home colliding into one with such a lovely woman such as yourself, Cat. White is very oh, slimming on you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gundam. I knew you were the troll that Phil said you were. You're a nice guy, after all. Where is Jasper, by the way? Oh, uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Jasper. Jasper. Jasper, kitty. Uh, he's in between Phil's balls right now. Sorry, I can't get him. Well, I'm glad you showed up, uh, Cat. Yeah, you helped us... We learned a lot. We laughed a lot. We know nothing about Phil, and that's probably the best way to know about Phil. God bless you. Uh, I hope I don't slow you up for dinner time and second lunch or third dinner. No, we've got a DoorDash already pre-approved since yesterday. Thank you, everyone, for having me on. And remember, uh, make everything in your life meaningful and robust. Like me. Mm -hmm. Robust. Oh, that was it's poignant. It's like the five rings from Musashi. What the fuck is that dog doing? Fluffy, I'm trying to have an important phone call. Fluffy! See that the dog fell over. She's ripping the carpet out of the floor. Well, I'm glad you're here, you little bastard. Were you ripping the carpet up? No? Good work. That's the news I like to hear. What have we got next on this show? Hmm. What are the delicious topics? Oh, my sweet Lord. I may have to actually fire him. What the hell have you done back there? Oh, I should have had a vamp plan for when something went absolutely ass backwards. From now on, I'm to be sent all the links for all the subject matter. So that way, when these sort of mishaps happen... Is Cat back again? I refuse to have Cat back on. Let's just have that straight off. What the hell is this? What the? That looks like Dark Side Phil. Oh, God. It's Phil gameplay. Oh, fuck it, eh? What are you doing? So, thank you all. And, uh... Tomorrow, we do it all again. We actually continue from here tomorrow. We'll see what this is. I'm thinking tomorrow, Baldur's Gate 3 streams, where I get good support. You notice it's all tips, right? Like, when I was streaming for months and months, I would always get a combination of either memberships or re-upping of memberships during the course of a day, plus Super Chats mixed in with tips. Now, if you haven't noticed, there's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, take a look. I'm not, and this is not me complaining to you guys. You guys were awesome. A lot of people tipped today. Zero memberships today. Zero re-upping of memberships today. $10 in Super Chats. And I used to be getting all this supplementary support outside of tips from everyone. And now, ever since these gifted memberships started, that's what I'm in every day now. So that's why my revenue's down. Because no one is, is re-upping. I think what everyone is doing is they're just thinking, oh, oh well, I'm just going to... I'm just going to get a free one. So no one's becoming a member anymore. And that's killing me. You know, like I can't fix that. But that's just a perfect example. We just had a, an engaged stream. Everyone was having a good time. Great progress. Tips were great. And literally that was it. Like no one did anything else but tip today, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just making a factual observation because people are like, oh, he's making it up or, oh, you know, he's over exaggerating. No, I used to have like today I would have had all the tips I got. Plus I would have had re-upping of memberships, super chats. I'm getting nothing anymore. It's like nothing, zero. And this is an ongoing problem. And I don't know how to fix that. You know, I just don't. I, any any suggestions that you guys have, I don't know what to do to make people do the things they used to do when they're getting them for free. Well, that was very informative and fun. 
I love when Phil tells us how he needs money indirectly. So he's not really begging. That wasn't a beg. That's what you need to understand. Phil was advertising um, the fact that he was a little low. He's a little light. And you've seen Cat. I can assure you, women that big are very expensive to maintain. That's why the feeder lifestyle is only for the most richest pervert degenerates in the world. Also, the drugs I took about who knows whenever this show started are starting to kick in. And my taste buds are dancing on themselves. My tongue, and they, they feel like this. It's like it's numb, but it's also going crazy. And I feel it creeping into my brain through my spinal cord. It is absolutely insane. And I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, but I might be so high that I didn't realize that I should be explaining this. Oh, God, I'm no better than Richard Review Tech USA. Now to yell at the producer. I'm going to finish off the Super Chats before you... Um... You know, Go. you're muted the whole time Hold then. On. Is that what you're doing? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Yeah. <laughs> you forgot to add yourself and change your goddamn name. This is supposed to be a, pro a, 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 a professional. A professional. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm on drugs. I have an excuse. You're stone sober. Uh, that's what you think. YouTube well, forces me to drink and do narcotics. To give me the strength to keep fighting after being nuked almost yearly. Ah. <sighs> well, let's hurry up before you too mad and uh, sit in the chat forever. Dude, I'm going to fuck die editing. That's how I'm going to go out. And then, since I didn't make it to a million subscribers, like Dextro and shit wouldn't even cover it. They'd be like, eh, the news isn't big enough. Then they wait till like national news covers like my half eaten body by my cat and shit. Then they'd be like, YouTuber, it's a Gundam, died editing a video. And then someone in the fucking comments would be like, I hate him. He was always complaining he didn't have a girlfriend. And then someone would be like, I heard he was coded gay because he had autism. And then someone else would go, <laughs> rest in peace. You won't be missed. All right, super chat me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Der Ubermans with the five dollars. She went to the Great Plains and absorbed the power of being flat. We're talking about Rogue again. Yeah, Rogue again. Uh, Digital Demonic Dar Darvos with the five dollars. Rogue from the original X Men cartoon was as sexy as the Tomb Raider art. Got my wanting. Uh, got me wanting a cartoon character like no other. Yeah, Rogue. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Rogue. Tomb Raider. <laughs> And yes, Laura Croft, the Tomb Raider, total hot chicks. And then you get a modern adaptation and they always look like trash. They're kind of rolling Laura Croft back, but they gave her like smaller boobs. And I'm like, well, at least Laura Croft looks like Laura Croft. And other people are like, where are her titties? Bitmal with the five Canadian. Last beer before work. Have one on me. Okay. That's the way to be. He's a delivery driver, by the way. Well, you know, you got to get through the day any way you can. Uh, Pallet and Potato is a new member. Thank you for becoming a new member. Crumbly, also a new member. Thank you. Oh, I like the name. Uh, Nebo <laughs> with the Canadian Deuce. Have you seen the Domino's Japan, the Domino's Japan Volcano Pizza? No. What? Japan? Volcano? Japan, Domino's. Domino's <laughs> Volcano Pizza. I'll like Google it. I'd never eat Domino's. It tastes like shit. Most is like with the 20. What's going on with Chris Chan? We love you, Gundam. No homo. Well, with Chris Chan, what I remember seeing recent times in Chris Chan, Chris Dury, whatever it's called, he's like dating this very, very weird human. And I guess it's an adult female. But the thing is, she looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. Like she looks like really does like look it up i'm not even joking it's like this little woman that looks like this freakish little doll that really does look like a kid the hair she chooses to like have the hairstyle does not help yeah you, you think it's like an amber alert because it's christian and this small human that resembles a child and my god everything's just so dark and the room is spinning oh my god 
Pro CD with the $8, SARS 8. I miss Gundam Redman videos. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we had to rebrand the channel because uh, a lot of the things that was on Red Band is not in line with the new TOS that they sent me in the fucking mail. And it's kind of like, hey, uh, we're changing the speech. And it's like, why do we keep changing shit? Why does things get lamer and gayer? What, for the weakest people in our society? Are you stupid? No one on the planet plans for the weakest people in the society. That's how a society dies. Only in America have we reached a point where we have to like take shit that happened years ago and then fix it. So modern people that don't go outside won't be triggered by a thought or idea that isn't comfortable in their fee-fees. Well, I say fuck them. Good Lord. Do you know what birds do? You know what birds do with the weakest, stupidest little bird? The mother bird picks it up by its neck and flings it out of the fucking nest. And that's why the birds are so strong. <laughs> That's why these fucking birds are swooping down in New York. They're taking little dogs. They're taking fish. But they won't take the migrants because the birds have taste. Someone stop this stream. I'm going to go over the edge. No. Unacceptable. Let me unleash the bee. Oh, my God. We got to get out of here before they really just come after us. The truth with $2. I'm cool, too cool. high, so cool, I can't cool, stop any, myself. Any updates on Pokey's Toes? Ooh, don't get them on Pokey's Toes. Come well, there is a website called WikiFeet, my man, where you will find all the feet you need for you to succeed, my dude. Oh, uh, what's next? <laughs> Robot no, Devil 52 with yet. the $5. Thank you so much. Wraith Rapture with the $5. As a male nurse, I know how to drown out the bullshit of both the public and women, but you take it to another level. What's your secret? You have to lose your will to live, but then you also have to really like Batman to the point of like your pain, your misery, your sorrow, you throw in the back seat and you're like, I can take it. I'm Batman. You know, all these things just going on. And then someone in your life, usually a woman, stops and goes, do you realize that you're hurting? That you're losing yourself? You don't even sleep. You ignore the pain of your body and your soul. You're going to die. You look worse. And I'm like, they nuked my channel. I can't stop now. It's about sending a fucking message. And then when you think about it, I'm sending messages to who? Like the asshole who flagged my video at YouTube? They're not going to stop either because they think I'm the worst thing that ever happened. So it's a duel of fates, if you will. Two worthless pieces of shit fighting on a website secretly. It's my secret war. And nobody even knows. Ah, oh, fucking A. I forgot my point. Uh, God bless you, mailman. <laughs> Ani just became a new member. Thank you so much. SoCal Ghoul with the $5 just saw a Biden ad on your stream asking for uh, campaign donations. Rather than give it to you, though, homie, that's the bro right there. That's how the dude. dare Biden do this after what he's done recently? You know what we have in New York? We now have migrant gangs, but it's not on the major news. No, Fluffy, no. And the migrants have fucking completely outsmarted Texas. Now I'm telling them the truth. The truth is now. The migrants now fly to California. No, no, not California. Canada. And then they cross the border on foot into New York, bypassing all the bullshit. The only people still at the border are the migrants from Africa. What? I'm telling the people the news. What's my point? I'm sick of paying taxes. Seven Inc. 37 just became a member. Thank you. Token Robot with the $5. The not a woman is going to mansplain what it is to be black. Yes. Uh, not just black. Black and affected by global climate, warming. And climate yeah. change. Because that's the biggest problem in the ghetto. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nanalo with the $2. Isn't when I go to the mall, I wear a bulletproof vest. And it's because of the goddamn ghetto, because they have their shootouts there. What? Isn't impersonating an officer a federal crime? 
not in this administration. In fact, if you identify as non-binary and dress like uh, a hooker from the San Bernardino Valley and say that you work in nuclear waste management, you could get a job. Then you take it to the next level. You go to the airport and you steal clothes from black women while the administration hides it on the news as long as they can. What a year. Mendo Boy just became a member. Thank you so much. Alex K with the Seek 20. As a Swede, I'm sorry for Destiny's ex wife. Well, thank you. Yeah. God bless you, sir. You know, I was going to say, did the Swedes in Vent swore to Pete, but that's the people from Holland, right? Yeah. Okay. Noah Zork with the five dollars. Global globalists are rolling out this idiocracy, but they skipped a step and they're too far ahead, but too stupid to adapt, so it all feels disjointed and weird. Yeah, that's true, actually. Everything does feel disjointed and weird. The fact that they, you know, I got some I got a hot take. <laughs> so yeah, this might be the end of the stream. I was doing thinking, you know, when I was showering today washing the troubles out of my hair and i thought about cobra's woman trying to get pregnant and how old and out of shape she was and then it hit me it's like you know there's a lot of women in their late mid to late 30s trying to have kids and the autism rates are spiking you know like never before it correlates with the boss babe energy movement just saying right you know but instead of anybody saying, you know, maybe having a kid at 40 isn't a good idea. They go, no, it's global warming. It's the car you drive. It's gas stoves. The gas stoves are making the kids borderline retarded and gender neutral and autistic. Not your geriatric pregnancy. So, yeah, that's what I think. I think uh, women are, are having kids too late in life, and it's leading to all the autism. So we we shouldn't get rid of cars. We should get rid of the autism. <laughs> Clip it. That, that's a trailer right there. Uh, Omni Gas with the $2. Hey, Gundam, do you want an MG Deep Striker Gundam? Deep Striker. Name rings a bell. Deep Striker. Oh, Deep Striker is sick as shit. My brain. It's one of the best kits they've made. Digital Demonic Darboros with another five. Remember the IRL travel couple that ended the guy ended up, ended his girl and the family covered it up by hiding him? Would that be you, Gunnam? The Gabby Petito. Wait, wait. The family covered it up? Wait, his family or her family? His family because she, uh, it was her van and uh -huh. she was the YouTuber, the van life YouTuber. She was wait, he was rich was or something? Time. No, he was just a regular dude. Her boyfriend. He's just retarded. Yeah. Just whatever. So he goes off on this, you know, month long van life excursion, but he comes back unexpectedly with just the van and not her. Says nothing to her family. His family don't say anything to the cops or nothing, but they can't find a body yet. So they're not charging him with murder in the time being. Yeah. He and he like ran that. and hid and shit. Yeah. I remember that. Right. Guy. And he Didn't he kill himself? Off. Yeah. 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 So he totally did it. You oh, know, 100%. I have to, you got to think about it. Like, that guy, he looks like uh, he would vote, you know, blue, right? Because uh -huh. you got to be a liberal guy if you're messing with van life chicks. You know? I'm a fairly liberal guy, but I'm old school liberal. So being old school liberal is like conservative today. Like, if you're a liberal in 2016, got news for you. You're, you're a conservative. <laughs> it's like the gays. Remember the gay people before, like, the Zoomers? And remember how the plaid flag was only a rainbow? And now the plied flag, I'm fucking slurry, has all this shit on it. It looks like, like a fucking Power Rangers belt buckle. You know, it's just crazy shit going on. But the new gay people call the old gay flag, the old pride flag, the conservative pride flag. Which kind of like blows my mind. They're like, oh, the old pride flag? Oh, you're a conservative gay? And it's like, what, what the fuck is going on? What? I forgot my fucking point. What was it again? Tell me. Uh, you're talking about how the uh, how you're a liberal a few years back and now. Oh you're yeah, that's right. We're on the van, dude. That's right. Yeah. Point man, being, bro. that chick had to be like so annoying wow. that a guy who's probably liberal went insane and just ended her. You know, like she probably she's like, I think 
I might vote for Trump because we I made more money in my bad life videos. And then he was like, ah! <laughs> 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 snap. <laughs> He's done. He's like, what have I done? What have what I done? done? And then he runs to his family. He's like, I don't know what happened. We were arguing. We were yelling and straightening. And then she like put her hands around my neck and she said, make America great again. And it was her or me, dad. And then... <laughs> ah, good Lord. I understand, <laughs> son. Now take this pistol and go far out into the woods. He's like, honey, take this gun because, you know, the manga supporters hate the Jews, baby. And he's like, thanks, dad. And he's like, promise me you won't kill yourself, Gordon. And then he goes off into the woods and he realizes there's no way out. And his father's like, use a gun to protect yourself from, from like any danger. And then he saw an eagle fly too low. And he aimed up too quickly when he pulled the trigger to nail himself. <laughs> I can't do this show on drugs anymore. My filters are dropping like they're dropping like border security. <laughs> All right, let me pull this back on track. This train needs to coming off the rails quick. Game by with the five bucks. How dare you say that? Not saying that I was woke back in the day, but I will say I am a boarding in bigot now. I mean, <laughs> sounds more empowering. <laughs> That's going to be my Twitter the profile. Born bigot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so weird for me, dude. I went from dancing at gay clubs and hanging out with the most interesting gay people to being like uh, the number one most hated guy in like our gay Reddit. In Gumpler Reddit. The These Mark little fuckers. Right troll. <laughs> uh, Savannah Games Go two dollars. Gundam, you won tickets to Floston Paradise. Oh, thank God! I'm about to fall out of my chair with joy. Ronan Okami with the two dollars. Is that Skeletor? Next time. Until oh, next my time. God. Yes. She might come back, but we'll I can't to, walk. We'll bro. have to tempt her with some uh, with third I can't with third lose dinner. My legs. Fluffy, no! Fluffy, no! Uh, Dad, oh, with the RSD 250, this is the guy that said he could edit your videos, by the way. I edit films and TV shows, started moving to YouTube, Ugh. and Gundam Vins are easy to edit. Only payment I accept are deleted solo pods, XCMRE99. We will have my agency put you through the rigor to make sure you can actually edit or something. Ah. Digital Demonic Dovros with another five. Get out of here. Get out of here. Does Phil know his PS5 is more powerful than the computer he's capturing on? The gameplay looks better than the camera feed. Bro, it's Dark Side yeah. Phil. He can't yeah. even use his OBS. He got an RCA splitter for his headphones. Oh, my brains. Uh, Run Rye with the $2. YouTube DSP sings it. Barbie Girl AI is hilarious. I think I heard some of that. Mm -hmm. Dude, might... you licked my hand. Scotty doesn't know with the $5. Gundam was a Xanax abuser with multiple DUIs, and I have never edited, edited but I need an easy job. So what do you say, buddy? Uh, what's an ex... It sounds like you could be quite interesting to put on the payroll. I'm not going to lie. I'd love to have, like, you know, if you get caught, with your vitamins, wink, wink. This one doesn't wink, but you know, wink, wink, vitamins. You know, when the police arrest you and you end up on cop can videos, I would need you to like shout out the channel, like you can't do this to me. I edit for it's a Gundam, motherfucker. Subscribe, so, to it's a Gundam. <laughs> it's, it's a haul him away. It's a Gundam changed my life. Without him, I couldn't afford this week's bump. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Fashion Fashion. With the Canadian 10. Hi, Gundam. It's been a while since I've seen you live stream, but talking about feeders, remember when Bella Daphine became fat because some guy gave her a million dollars to do that? What, really? I totally missed that era. <clears throat> that bitch is like $4 million. Oh, wait, she's English, so like the government takes like half your money. Ooh, shit, Whatever, uh, she's still a millionaire. Doug like, I wouldn't. Do... Hey, with, what's up, Doug? With $50. The big yen! Uh, 
Shadow Tamer with the $10. Thank you. Red Cap Goblin with the $10 for the Secret War effort. God bless you. Ancient Slug Thrower with the $5. Batman is my spirit animal, but other days it's Frank Castle, the Punisher. You know, the Marvel we have today will never do a Punisher movie. What's that, Fluffy? Get out of here with that. I'm really interested to see how they do with Deadpool. I can't I say I don't think care. That it's R, but I don't know how hard R it's going to be. It can't be too hard. It, like, R today is like shooting shit. Damn it, Fluffy. You rip more ass. God damn it, dog. House of Haas with the $2. It's a Gundam. You want YouTube to love you because trans. But... You become want trans. To love you become trans. Yes, dude. That's, that's I way. should like fucking just do full blown drag makeup. Say like I'm out of the closet and see if it changes my fortune on the site. I told the YouTube work guys a minority, and they gave me like an email to join some YouTube more. No this is like for Black History Month or whatever. I figured I kind of qualify. I speak the streets. <laughs> they they wouldn't let me in the program. <laughs> I think you racist ass motherfuckers. Ugh. Uh, Raya Seba with the 20 pounds. Just for fun, I'll ask, what is your golden era of anime? 80s or 90s? Mine is decidedly <clears throat> 80s because bangers like Hokido no Kin and Bubblegum Crisis, also Gundam Z. Zeta. Ugh, Zeta. It's hard. I would say 80s and 90s together for me. Because... The 90s had some pretty hot shit, too. But the 80s was also just next level. Like, Akira was one of the most animated things I've ever seen in my life. We're never going to get that anymore, either. We're not getting anything good. It's all, like, downhill from now on, really. Like, I have a feeling things are just going to suck dick. It's just going to suck and suck and suck. And then you're, you're going to die. And your family's going to have to pay for the funeral if you're broke, you know? <laughs> or your family could be like mine, where, like... They'd keep you money, but they cook your body. You know, my family, my grandfather died. Some motherfuckers in the family got in his house, went in the attic, and they took all those classic comic books from Marvel, Silver Age, and some golden. They didn't even know what the hell they had, and they sold it. I don't know. My point is that something about motherfuckers robbing each other. Goddamn. <laughs> Russell, uh, he's been a member for six months. Thank God you bless so you, Russell. Uh, the Camcon 9703 with the five dollars. Did you know that microplastic poisoning and autism have the same sim symptoms? Ain't that about a bitch? Hmm. I'm as good as dead. Maracino with the ten dollars. Why have you not moved to Texas yet? Has D, D girl retired? That's what I'm saying, chat. D girl is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't moved to Texas yet because these goddamn rates. Hey, go to one bank. They only offer me 6.5%. Some shit like yeah, that. It's got to come down to at least below. Six. Only for like 300K. Yeah, fuck that, man. God damn it. Joseph Fazzo with the $2. Uh, that Star Wars girl, third cousin, was Lacey Peterson. That's the, who's, who's that? She was killed by Drew Peterson... Uh, he stuffed her in a barrel, I think. He actually killed his other wives, too, but he was, this was maybe like 2010. He uh, was almost getting away with it, but then he didn't because he's an idiot, and they found the barrel with her with her dead body in it. So I'm sorry to hear that. That Star Wars girl, that, that's, that's very... She never told me about that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I think I might have heard a little bit of something about that, but it's been a while. Um... Darn Lacey with the five dollars. My cat, my friend named his cat who had feline AIDS, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Is that bad taste? Also, when will we get be getting more gaming with Zill? No, that is something Freddie Mercury himself would have laughed at. Uh Ziltex, I don't know. They this pitched me some game we were supposed to play, but then nobody got back to me again. So that's just how it is. You know, I can't sit around and keep, hey, we're gonna do something like disappear. On me, I, I got shit to do now. It's, I, my life does not revolve around streaming on Twitch. I'm saying towards them, you're like, it's kind of like people hit me up and then they just vanish all the time. Even when I thought I was going to, where the fuck was I going? 
Uh, Rumble. I really wish I got that deal, man. Because then I'd be over there at least getting paid decent money. We need a big to... deal. Yeah, give me like give me a fucking million. They're gonna get Fousey a million. What the you know, Fuzzy. Fucking Fousey. Huh? Let me go watch a dude lose his motherfucking mind. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay, sometimes it's funny though. You know, if Uzi is like doing headstands for no fucking reason, it falls off the bed. It just nails his spine on the table and he lets out a yell. <laughs> like that. And his gold chain is like over his lips. So he can't fully extend his mouth while he screams. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a good show sometimes. Look at this. Spud Hall Yo. 177 with the two dollars says he likes the way this train is going. Keep it up, sir. This thing is about to hit a wall at 110 miles an hour. You know one of my favorite fucking Fousey streams recently? Not the Which one where one? he like spazzes out and rolls all over the floor <laughs> in like some mall. Then he told his like assistant to suck his dick in some t-shirt shop. Oh yeah, he was, in that, he was in that shoe shop. And it was like right before he got kicked out of like yeah. all of Vegas. What was that That's place right. called? The the uh, Lions Kingdom something? Uh, MGM Grand? MGM I don't know. Grand. Yeah. So before Fousey gets kicked out, Fousey goes to dance. Why? I don't know. To the pool. And he's just doing this little dance. He's like this, you know? And he, he's just fucking, he's in the zone. And he starts talking to the fucking lifeguard in the gayest moment I've seen in his lifetime. And he's like, if I follow the water, you got to give me CPR, right, bro? If I guess, he's like, yeah, I can give you CPR, dude. And the fucking dude's kind of buff and shit, you know, with good hair, like George Michael hair. And I'm sitting there like, this is kind of gay for Fousey. What the hell's going on? But I could not look away. Get Dr. Strange out of here, Fluffy. Uh, let me, we're, gonna, we're almost done with this. Uh, CF with the 20... Canadian, <clears throat> screw them Mooney owls at YouTube for their attacks on you, sir. One day I'll be free when Kit gives me a million. Oh, that was my point. Like, they offer Fousey millions of dollars. Why can't I have at least a goddamn million? Fuck. <laughs> this show is totally worth a million. I don't know what anyone's talking about. Listen, during COVID, we have saw a lot of people make a lot of money for doing nothing. I want my cut of the action. Uh, Dutchie for the five. The fuck you talking about? We are now in the golden age of anime. Fight me. Sure, we're not really in the golden age of anime. It's a nice little time, but a lot of the animation, when it gets really complex, is now becoming like 3D bullshit. I prefer the brush strokes, the pencil work, the absolute visceral energy of classic anime. You can tell someone put their heart and soul into that shit, their entire pussy. Whereas to what we get now, like uh, it's all right, but we're nowhere where we were before. You can't look at Ninja Scrolls animation and go, we're there now. Don't get me wrong. I like Jujutsu Kaisen, but it's not on that level. It's not godlike. Story's good, though. Uh, last one, Super Silver a Anthony with the 10 pounds. Hey, Gundam, really got into UC and the OVAs, especially War in the Pocket, but I'm struggling to watch Double Zeta. Any tips because I want to watch Charles... Char's counterattack. Well, if you could power through double Z to do it, I I I conked out at when like uh oh my god, I can't remember his name. Judo Nashta's sister was thought to have died and they were on an island and all sort of stuff, and I'm just kind of like I'm a little tired of this. I'm a little tired. I'm just I'm done. Uh oh, we got one more that just came in. Matthew Fashin with Another Canadian five. Let's face it, Gundam. If Kit gave you a million, you would run away. Fuzzy investment, your reliability. Dude, I, I would leave. Like, I would just, I'd do live streams till I got my money, you know? Like, hell, it's way more money I'll make on YouTube in years. Like, a million up front is like, that's like years of bullshit I'd save in my life. Oh, that'd be amazing. I could only imagine, you know, like going on vacation. And not having to worry about something or think about a bill or deal with someone or do a meeting or edit something or come up with an idea. Fuck. God, I wish I was like a fucking bullshit streamer. Like today we're going to whatever the fuck streamers do. And they're like, they oh, man, the stuff just like we're doing, except the IRL <laughs> ones that go out there and, and bug the public. Yeah. Fuck you're Aiden Ross, you just buy a warehouse and turn it into a boxing ring. 
I saw Aiden Ross get the shit knocked out of him by some boxer. Him and some squatty little dude. Like two on one, and the guy just casually wrecked their ribs and they drop like bricks. And I'm sitting there like, dude, does anybody who actually streams know how to fight before they get in a fucking ring? Like, what are you doing? Why are your ribs so open? You're lucky the guy was playing with you because you had no guard up your head. He could have clocked you in the face if he wanted. What the hell's wrong with this generation? My dog may be gay, but I do not approve of such stupid shit. Well, I got nothing, dude. I guess that's it. There's one more thing that I wanted to say. A friend of the show, Camelot, Cody, he did not qualify for Daytona this weekend, but he tried his best, and I want to congratulate him for making it as far as that he did. Uh, he'll be running in Phoenix and Talladega uh, next month. So big ups to him. He's out there doing big things. Oh, yes. Amazing. And uh, that's it. Uh, 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 Silky Willie has donated 100. Oh, Here, shit. have some time. Just, yeah. <laughs> Save <laughs> time. Thank you. And five for Dutchie again. Gonna, if you got a million dollars, you'd OD. Dude, I could OD right fucking now. <laughs> you don't need a billion dollars to OD. <laughs> if there's one thing that I learned from Too Mad, you don't need a million dollars to OD. You just need a copy of Overwatch. Let's be real here. And I've got two copies. So how do you like me now? <laughs> I'm going to have it on two motherfucking screens. <laughs> just sitting there waiting for lobby for, for days and days and days. I'm going to throw a couple matches before I go. I'm going to make somebody remember me. <laughs> Fluffy, no. Bad jokes, Fluffy. These are terrible. What are you saying? What the, what the hell is that? Oh, yes, it's your line. Good dog. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. Oh, wrong face. Uh-oh. Uh, didn't we just do that one save time? Yes. Yeah, uh, wait, what, what do we got here? One. Uh, Silky Wookie with 100 bucks. Here, save some. Here's some save time, Papa G. Yeah, I, I read that one. I was okay. surprised it was back. Uh, yeah, got that one too. That one and uh, SBZ oh. with the five dollars oh. is definitely better than watching Madam Web. Thanks again, Gundam. I yeah, still gotta me... download that, the bootleg. You know, you're not supposed to say that live. <laughs> the uh, going to the theaters to watch it, definitely. Sony will sue you, <laughs> they'll, get, they'll make some money back. Oh. <sighs> Do you have the final word, sir? Um, hmm. Well, uh, the X-Men is probably going to suck. The election's probably going to suck. People are most likely going to talk more about Taylor Swift. And at the end of the day, does it matter? No, absolutely not. Everything is designed to keep your attention away from the fact that things are going terribly wrong. As a pilot once said to me in a plane, put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye, but I will instill more hope into you, sir. Ignore all the bullshit. We are living in nothing but lies and deceit upon lies, deceit, bad actors, and bad communities. But at the end of the day, a man is truly free in his heart and in his mind. We all have to sell our integrity for so little, but within that inch, we are free, as am I, to face the sunset onto a next cringe lord adventure. And while I will take on the world's internet woes and make them palatable for your suitable taste. Until next time, I don't have a fucking ending. Eat hard, live fast, die sexy. <laughs>